This is your 10 minute at home Pilates inner thigh workout. We are gonna tighten, tone, and sculpt into this area right here. You are gonna feel the most incredible burn. I want you to do this for 14 days and let me know how you get on in the comments down below. Now this is part of your full 14 day Pilates at home guide. This area here is for beginners. That's around 20 minutes a day. If you are advanced or intermediate, I recommend doing this area here, up to 45 minutes a day. This beautiful number is Gymshark. I love the way it makes me feel. I love the way it shapes into your body and it is so supportive during workouts. Click to shop and let's get started with this workout. Okay, we're starting off with our legs long across the mat. The upper leg is gonna come behind the underneath one. Flex that foot up, pump lower. Good work. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep those reps pretty fast and breathe. Good work. Don't forget that little pump at the top. Already halfway. This is one of those workouts that's gonna get harder and harder as we progress through it. Hold at the top, tiny little pumps now. Good work. All the way. Amazing. From there, you're gonna come down into lying. Bring that upper leg forward, lift up, slide forward, back. Amazing. Let's go. Nice and high with that leg. Pretend that this leg is on a table. You're trying to just dust the surface. Bringing this leg forward. Now smooth, controlled movements. 
as high as you can. You're already halfway. Use that breathing control. Slow control that movement. Amazing. Lower it down. You have those circles up next. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out through the mouth. Now lift. Let's go. Drawing those circles. You should be feeling an incredible, incredible muscle burn right now. And if you need to at any point stop, lower down, reset, up we come again. Three, two, one, change direction. Amazing work. For your next exercise, you are gonna need a Pilates ball. If you don't have a Pilates ball, you can grab a pillow, okay? But the Pilates ball makes it a lot harder. Whew. Keep pushing. Amazing. Okay, coming up now in one smooth movement using those abs. Into sitting. Grab a hold of that Pilates ball, place it in between the knees, down to your forearms, push in for five, then hold for five. Four, three, two, one, push. One, two, three, four, five, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, push. One, two, three, four, five, hold. Push. Now keep going at your open pace. Push for five, hold for five. working into this area here. You're also going to get some of the thigh muscles as well as the inner thighs. Those quadriceps. Squeeze the booty. Work those glutes. You have 30 seconds left. It's a tiny, tiny little pulse. If you can, come a little bit lower. Amazing work. Relax those shoulders. Keep nice and upright, tailbone tucked. Amazing, just take your body down. Shake those hips out a little bit. We now have a curtsy into a lift, okay? So we're gonna take this leg behind, drop the knee down, then from there, lift lower. Good work. So as I said, this is more of a combo move, but we are isolating, not isolating, we're working those inner thighs as well. Those first movements that we did were isolated inner thighs. Good work. Already halfway. Nearly there, a few more reps. Amazing, we're gonna go on to that other side, taking it behind, towards me with that body. Sink low, okay? Let's go. So you don't wanna take that leg too far out. 45 degree angle, okay? Good work.
For some people, you won't even want to go as far as 45 degrees. It's like a back lunge, but slightly over and behind, okay? Everyone's body is different. 20 seconds left. Nearly there. be on fire. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe for new workouts every single week. Mwah.